hi guys uh, welcome to my channel so this video is about how to install VMware and enable SSH access for your RHEL VM so first of all we'll require a VMware workstation you can download it from the VMware website so the VMware workstation is basically the application where you'll run your VMs will get a trial version from this website but uh, you can make it a permanent application for yourself by using the serial code which we have provided in the description of this video. So next we'll require an RHCL ISO file. This ISO file will be used to create the Linux VM in the VM VMware workstation which we have just downloaded. The ISO file can be downloaded from the Red Hat website. Basically you'll require a Red Hat account to download the RHEL ISO file. The latest version is RHEL 8. I'm using RHEL 7 in this example. Open your VMware application and click on create new virtual machine. Select the type of installation and click on next. Provide the path of ISO file, the ISO which you have downloaded. Provide a username and password to the login which you want for the VM. This password will be the same as for the root also. Provide a name for your virtual machine. You can keep it as it is. This will create a virtual machine for your RHEL server in your VMware application. So once your VM has been created and started, just log in to your VM using the root user and the password which you had provided during the VM installation. Now just shut down your VM to change a network adapter change which we have to apply to enable it for an SSH login. So once your VM has shut down, just right click on your VM and go to settings you would have a network adapter option. By default, the network connection in the network adapter would be NAT. Just change into bridged and click on save and just restart your VM. So after your system has restarted, just log in using the root user. Now stop the network services using service network stop then go to etc sysconfig network scripts path. This path contains the interface configuration files. Now make a copy of the existing configuration file as a backup. Now, once you have taken the backup, open the configuration file using the VI editor and add an entry for the IP address using IPADDR. This will be the static IP address which you will be using to log into using PuTTY. So this can be any IP which you want. I am giving 192.168.58.24. Change the boot proto option from DHCP to none because you don't want DHCP to assign the IP, you are giving a static IP. And change on boot to yes. So once you have done all these three changes, save your file using WQ. And restart your network service using service network restart. So once your network has restarted, just check if your IP is reflecting using IPA. So you can see the IP is there. Open the PuTTY application and put in the IP address which you have configured. The default port for SSH is 22 and click on open. 
put in the root user and password and here you can log in using SSH. Thank you for watching my video. What? <laughs>